I'm getting ready to head out for my Saturday morning gravel ride. And I want to show my gravel ride setup from the gear that I use, the bike, what I wear. Because like many of you out there, my mountain bike trails are now closed. And I think some of you may be looking into getting into gravel riding or doing more gravel riding. So I've been gravel riding for a long time. I started out on a mountain bike. But now I'm on, you know, gravel and cross bike. So let's take a look at what I use for gravel riding. A lot of people have asked about the helmet that I use. So this is the Giro Artex MIPS. The reason I like this helmet is because it has a visor. I like riding gravel with a visor because I'm out in the sun so much. I also use my Tifosi glasses. I typically wear a heart rate monitor. I use a Garmin Edge 1030 computer. And for food, I usually bring peanut butter and honey sandwiches. And inside my Osprey Katari 1.5, I keep a couple of lower bars. Peanut butter cookies, my favorite. So my gravel bike holds two water bottles. If my ride is about three hours, I'll put a water bottle in my jersey. If my ride is more than three hours, probably like you know four, four and a half, maybe five hours, like it's gonna be today, I use this hydration pack. This holds about the equivalent of two water bottles. I don't know if I'm gonna have access to water. And so this is a very minimalistic pack and really it just holds enough for maybe a cell phone and a couple bars. My gravel bike is the Niner RLT9 RDO. I know many of y'all saw my reviews on the Niner MCR, which was a demo. For my area, a standard gravel bike works a little bit better. I don't ride very rough roads. This is probably the best gravel bike I've ever ridden. I don't have a lot of experience on a vast variety of gravel bikes, but I, I like this one. So, I use a seat pack and in my seat pack, I basically have a multi-tool, I have a patch kit, I have a tube and I have a tire lever and I keep about at least five to $10 cash in there in case I need to stop at a store and get some nutrition. Also, always, always, always ride with a blinking light. I keep that on in the daytime, nighttime, whatever. That thing's always on when I'm riding. I highly recommend it. I always ride with the mirror on my left handlebar and I would recommend if you're going to ride on any road with cars that you have a mirror. I'm always watching the traffic behind me. If it doesn't look quite right, I will move off the road into the grass. This one's made by Third Eye. I've done a review on it, which I'll link below. It's pretty inexpensive and pretty simple. And if you pick up one of these, I would recommend getting the convex one. I accidentally got the flat one one time and the cars appeared too big in the mirror. So the convex one makes everything look a little bit smaller and you can see a lot more in the mirror. To hold my Garmin Edge 1030, or sometimes I use my 830, but I like the 1030 best on a gravel bike. And I use the out front mount. I don't like the, the mounts that put the Garmin right there on the top cap because I have to look down too much. On a mountain bike, it's a little bit better, but on a gravel bike, that's a pretty far way to look down. So I really like this out front mount. My tires are set up tubeless and I literally, I don't think I've had a flat on a gravel ride in probably three years. I'm not exaggerating. My favorite gravel tires are the Schwalbe G1s and I also like the Maxxis Ramblers. For tire pressure, I run about 22 or 23 in the front and about 24 or 25 in the back. And that is with a 40C tire. Of course, if you're gonna run smaller tires, you would need to boost up the PSI a little bit. And for reference, I'm 147 pounds. So if you're heavier, you might need to add a little bit more PSI. But that is a lower PSI than most people realize. Because I don't do a lot of fast descents, I don't need higher PSI. And I really like the comfort that I get and the compliance with running a little bit lower PSI. And I have not ever dinged a rim running that low. So I just wanted to mention that in case you're wondering what type of tire pressures I run. I ride with a two by system on my gravel bike. I don't like a one by on a gravel bike because I get too big of a jump between gears on the rear cassette. A common question for people getting into gravel riding is the type of pedals to use. And most people who ride gravel run mountain bike style pedals. So you've got the dual sided entry and mountain bike style pedals shed mud really easily. And so that's why these style of pedals work really well. By the way, these are the Look X-Track. I typically run either these or Shimano SPD. Definitely not a necessity, but extremely useful for training, and that is a power meter. So I have the Stages power meter, which is the crank arm style. Super simple, works really well. I can run whatever pedals that I want to. Even though I haven't used it in a couple years, I always ride with a pump, 
and I just keep it mounted on the water bottle cage. Most of the mini pumps today will come with a little bracket so you can mount it underneath the water bottle cage. Something that I've started using recently on my gravel rides are these bottles with a cover. So these bottles are made by Dawn to Dusk and I think they call this the dirt mask. And this just basically flips over. The roads right now are really dry and dusty. And by the end of the ride, my bottles are covered in dust. And it's so nice to keep the dirt and the dust off of your water bottle. I have never ridden with a bento box, but I did actually just order one. I ordered the one by Dark Speed. I'll do a little review on it after I use it for a while. So I reached out to my buddy at Gravel Cyclist to ask him which one he would recommend. And that's the one he recommended. So that'll be the first time that I use that, but I've used the seat pack for a long time. And for long miles in the saddle, the WTB Silverado has proved to be the best saddle. If my ride is over 20 miles, especially in the summertime, I always use chamois cream. And I'll typically use a little bit of sunscreen on my face. I can't use a lot of sunscreen. It literally makes me nauseous, but the kind with zinc oxide is a little bit better for that. So I like this blue lizard sunscreen. I like riding in a standard road kit. It's just the most comfortable. I like how these jerseys just, you know, wick away the sweat. And so I don't ride in baggies when I gravel ride. It's just not comfortable for me. I know if some of you who are mountain bikers are getting into gravel and you're used to riding in baggies, just swallow your pride and try these basic spandex shorts. Uh, of course, make sure they have a chamois in them. I like these socks that come up higher. Uh, these are my shoes. These are made by Giant. Um, I've used Shimano's in the past and CD's. These are really good shoes, by the way. I also want to mention that another reason why I prefer a traditional cycling jersey is because of the pockets. And I have come to rely on these on almost every gravel ride, whether it's an hour or four hours. So I can fit a couple sandwiches, a bunch of bars, my phone, and a water bottle in the middle pocket. It's also worth noting that when you buy a jersey, make sure the pockets are big enough I can't stand jerseys that have tiny little pockets that you can barely fit a phone inside. And also, I always use these skin coolers because, like I said, I don't like wearing a lot of sunscreen. And these keep the sun off my arms without having to put on sunscreen. These are made by Pearl Izumi. And once they get wet, they actually keep your skin cooler than if you didn't have them on at all. So uh, I always wear these pretty much on every gravel ride, even if it's just a lunchtime ride where the ride is only, you know, an hour so I, I i don't like having my arms out there in the sun because really your arms are the most exposed when you're on a bike ride this helmet you know if the sun's directly overhead the helmet does a great job of keeping the sun off my face and i always wear gloves when i gravel ride especially when it's hot if i'm sweating a lot the sweat just drips down my arm and gets on my hands and so it really makes it hard to hold onto the handlebars sometimes when it's super hot. But I also like the sun protection that I get from gloves. So I typically wear a full finger glove. So that is my gravel ride setup. Let me know in the comments below some of the things that you found useful for you when gravel riding. And again, I wanted to make this video because I know during this COVID-19 crisis, a lot of you are maybe getting into gravel riding for the first time or ramping up your gravel miles. Uh, so I just wanted to show the things that I found useful over the years to help me enjoy gravel riding. Follow me on Instagram at ClintG37. Give this video a thumbs up for me if you don't mind. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and ride reviews, trail reviews, bike reviews, bike maintenance, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.